Hey guys, hope you're all well. So this is gonna be a quick one because it's a little bit out of the blue, it's out of my ordinary schedule, but I'm feeling guided to do this reading because there is a specific message that wants to come through, either for one of you or for some of you, I don't know, we will see. So please just take this message if it feels right for you, if the title um, called to you, and yeah, just take it if it resonates but there's something that wants to come through from spirit for someone who is meant to see this. So let's see, let's get right into it and see what that message is. So what is the message that wants to come through for somebody watching this video, please? Okay. All right, we have Mask, we have Dark Night of the Soul, Cycles, and Return. All right, okay, so I'm getting that whoever that this is for, you are dealing with somebody who is pretending to be something that they're not. It's like they're wearing a mask. There's something here that they are hiding, and part of what they are hiding or the reason why they are hiding this is because they're going through a very, very dark night of the soul, um, or just they're going through a very, very rough period. There are things that are coming up especially in terms of their own patterns and cycles that they have been going through. So this could be somebody who um, just comes back once in a while. So it's like they return and then they disappear again. They return and they disappear again, whether that is energetically or just through um, subtle uh, messages like through social media or just hitting you up just here and there. Um, or it could be, you know, full-blown um, um, contact, right? Physical, physical contact. But I feel like this is somebody who definitely goes in and out, all right, of these um, energies here. So this is someone who is, at the moment, something may have happened where it just feels like, like it feels off to you. And that's because they're hiding the fact that they're going through a diff very difficult time. Now, what this difficult time is, is then um, acknowledging these cycles, like realizing that they just keep going through this pattern over and over and over again, where they come to you and then there's something that scares them and then they pull away again. Uh, let me get some, some tarot to see what it is more specifically here that you need to know about this. So it could be a divine soulmate, it doesn't have to be. Okay, this is just a message for anyone out there that it might resonate for. We have the devil in reverse, we have the two of cups, and we have the ten of swords in reverse. Yeah, okay, so definitely what I just said, this person is realizing that this these cycles that they go through, that they are toxic, that they are not healthy, right? And this is why the devil card is in reverse. This is somebody who does actually have a lot of um, emotions and love for you, but they're realizing that there is something that they need to something painful here that they need to release. And whatever it is that is going on um, between the two of you, it's not over, okay? With the Ten of Swords being in reverse, this is not a situation that is done. This is a person who is really processing the their dark side, their shadow side, and what is it that causes them to have these cycles over and over and over again, right? With the in and out returning and then leaving. So yeah, it's not over. Um, I do feel like they are resisting some kind of a painful ending for something that is in their lives. But the message here for you is to know that this is not this is not a situation that is over. Um, let me. I want to get more details here concerning the mask. The Six of Swords. Okay, so then appearing like that, appearing that they are distancing themselves from you, that is not exactly it. Um, there's something here that they are hiding. It, it's almost as if this person is pretending to ignore you, <laughs> however that makes sense. Okay, so that is something that um, spirit or your guides want you to know because it, it could be that whoever this is resonating for, like, 
this could be creating some kind of a crisis within you. Um, so this could just be a message of encouragement to know that this person is not really moving away from this. This is not something that is done just yet. I definitely don't want to give false hope to anybody. Just again, these are the messages that are coming through. So for the dark night of the soul, we have the nine of swords. Yeah, this person is definitely going through a lot right now. Okay, so this is something that might be helpful for you to know that they are possibly, you know, having a hard time sleeping, having a hard time eating. Um, I'm getting this person is like actually in such a bad state that they're just having a very hard time functioning in their lives overall right now. So this could be part of the reason why, you know, it feels like they are ignoring you, but actually this two of cups is here, right? The love is definitely here. Let me see cycles. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, they they repeat this pattern of the in and out because there are times where they feel more, more confident, more self-worth within their own selves. Um, and then there are times where there is a huge lack of that. And once that lack of that comes into play, that's when they, I guess, disappear. All right, and for return, we have the emperor in reverse. Yeah, so when this person does come back, you know, they're not it, they're not really like 100% there. There's this, it's like they return trying to find some kind of control, but then I feel like they don't actually get that. They don't get that because this is somebody who has not healed yet. They're, they're going through this dark night of the soul. So whatever it is that may have happened recently, I feel like this person has pulled away recently. Know that that's like, it's like they're pretending to ignore you um, when actually the love is there and they're processing this dark night of the soul, this anxiety, this stress, and realizing this negative pattern that happens over and over and over again, and they know that this is something that needs to end. So let me, I'm just gonna leave it at that, but I do wanna get like a final oracle message here. Okay, let me get one more. We do have co-create. And we have TikTok. Okay, so know that there is some kind of a divine plan here. Okay, so I definitely feel like this is a situation where it's a deep, deep soulmate connection um, with the co-create card. There is something here that the universe is working on with the both of you in the 5D, something that needs to come together. And it really is just a matter of time before this situation shifts. I don't feel like it's an easy one. I don't feel like it's just all of a sudden going to be like, you know, perfect and everything resolved. I do feel like it, it is taking a little bit of time, but Spirit is saying really it is a matter of time before something though shifts here. I feel like for whoever this is for, this is like a very, very critical um, period in time for you and for this other person here. And so it's just going to have to break in some way, like this cycle is going to have to break and it's going to go one way or another. So yeah, that is it. I'm leaving it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if this resonated for you and I will be posting the um, general collective DMDF and karmic situation video on Sunday. All right, guys, much love.